tenders and turntables. The big stations at both ends of the line each have a turntable. The fat controller had them made so that Edward, Henry, Gordon and James can be turned round. It is dangerous for tender engines to go fast backwards. Tank engines like Thomas don't need turntables. They can go just as well backwards as forwards. But if you heard Gordon talking a short while ago, you would have thought that the fat controller had given him a tender just to show how important he was. He said to Thomas, Oh, but you don't understand, little Thomas. We tender engines have a position to keep up. It doesn't matter where you go, but we are important. And for the fat controller to make a shunt on dirty sidings, well, it's, it's, it's not the proper thing. And Gordon puffed away in a dignified manner. Thomas chuckled. <laughs> Poor old Gordon, he is upset. <laughs> and off he went with the two coaches, Annie and Clarabel. Gordon took his coaches and passengers to the terminus and waited until they'd all got out. And then he shunted the coaches to another platform. He was in a bad temper. It's disgraceful. Shh, 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 shh. It's disgraceful. Shh, 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 shh. It's disgraceful. Shh, 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 shh. And he ran backwards to the turntable. The turntable was in a windy place close to the sea. It was only just big enough for Gordon, and if he was not on it just right, he put it out of balance and made it difficult to turn. But today, Gordon was in a bad temper and the wind was blowing fiercely. Gordon's driver tried to make him stop in the right place, but Gordon wasn't trying. He would not stop in the right place. At last, Gordon's driver said, Oh, 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 I give up. All right then, Gordon. We can't turn you like this because your tender upsets the balance. Now, if you were a nice tank engine, you'd be all right. But you're not. You're a tender engine and we can't turn you around. So you'll have to pull the next train backwards. So there. When Gordon came to the platform, some little boys shouted out, Hey, look, come quick. Here's a new tank engine. Oh, it isn't silly. It's Uddy Gordon, back to front. Oh, so it is. What a swizz. And Gordon said, Oh, mm, And he puffed off to the junction. Thomas was waiting at the junction. Oh, hello, Gordon. Playing at tanks engines then? <laughs> Sensible engine. Take my advice. Scrap that tender of yours and have a nice banker like mine, hmm? And Gordon said, Oh, pshh. Then James came along on his way to the turntable. Oh, hello, Gordon. Got stuck on the turntable then, are you? Uh, you be careful, James. Otherwise, you might get stuck too. No, 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 no. I won't get stuck. I'm not as fat as you are. Now you just watch me. And James went along to the turntable and stopped on just the right place to balance the table. It could swing easily. The fireman turned the handle and James turned. Much too easily. The wind caught him and puffed him round and round like a top. He couldn't stop. He was spinning round and round when Gordon came along. <laughs> well, 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 James. What are you doing? 
playing round about, hmm? At last, the wind died down and James stopped turning and rolled off the table to the engine shed, feeling very, very giddy. That night, the three engines had an indignation meeting. Gordon did most of the talking, though. It's shameful to treat tender engines like this. It really is. Henry gets drenched by elephants, James spins round like a top, and I have to go backwards, and everyone laughs at us. Not only that, the fat controller makes a shunt in dirty sidings. It's dreadful. It's dreadful. Now listen, we will act tomorrow. The fat controller will look silly. Now this is what we'll do. In the morning, when the driver on the file